Hi, Andrew here. Continuing our series on defensive pistol ammunition gel testing, today we're going to take a look at Federal's 135 grain 9mm Hydroshock Deep. Now, I have to confess that I don't have good feelings about this. Um, if you'll remember, the original Hydroshock was okay for its time. I mean, well, frankly, it was groundbreaking for its time, but Hydroshock has not stood the test of time. It doesn't perform very well against heavy clothing. It is mediocre at best when compared to some of the more modern ammunition like Gold Dot and HST, which ironically stands for Hydroshock too. So when I heard about the Hydroshock Deep, I was a, a bit underwhelmed. And I don't expect great things for this. I'm not sure why Federal wouldn't want to distance themselves from a brand name that just doesn't perform that well. That said, we have to give it the best shot we can. So we're going to get out to the range. We're going to shoot it out of my Glock Model 22 with a Lone Wolf 9mm conversion barrel into ballistic gel. All right, this is actually really good performance virtually instant expansion. The neck is about half an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch. Penetration is 19.6 and 19.0. The bullets actually stop at the end of their track in this case. They didn't bounce back at all, so there's just gonna be the one measurement. It looks as though they expanded perfectly with virtually no fragmentation. We're probably going to see really high weight retention when we get home and take some measurements. Let's take these out of here and take a look. Okay, so we're seeing the pedals fold back along the shank. We're seeing nice big expansion, although Somewhat moderate compared to something like an HST, which of course with the reduced frontal area, that helps it go a little deeper, hence the name Hydroshock Deep. Real consistent penetration, expansion, everything looks real good. Let's see how it does against the heavy clothing because as you know, that's where things kind of tend to fall apart for some bullets. All right, well, another one came out the side of the block here. It was stopped by the soft armor backer. It looks like it performed pretty normally, but these two stopped in the block like they're supposed to, so we'll take the measurements off of there. Again, extremely short necks on these. The performance looks almost identical to the bear gel. If you notice, the expansion starts at almost exactly the same place. Here are the points where I dug out the bullets from the backer block, and here are the places where these denim shots stopped just now. Almost exactly the same performance, which is really, really impressive. So the penetration was 20.7 and 18.9 inches. So <laughs> the Hydroshock Deep definitely lives up to its name of being, you know, 
deep. It is a bit over the FBI 18 inch recommended maximum, but not by a lot. Overall, this is really, really good performance. And I gotta say I'm a little surprised, especially given its name. This doesn't seem to have a whole lot in common with the original Hydroshock, except maybe you wanna count that post in the middle. Let's take a look at these bullets in the backer block here. You can see some denim is still wrapped around that one. And again, full expansion, pedals folded right back along the shank, but there seems to be a fair amount of lead here to kind of buttress the jacket and keep it from over expanding. I wonder if these might do well out of a carbine. We'll get some better photographs and some measurements when we get back home, but this looks really good. Okay, so color me surprised, and before I gush too much, in the spirit of full disclosure, I need to tell you that Federal is one of our sponsors. That's important because I'm about to say a lot of really, really happy things about this product. Um, as I mentioned before, I did not expect a lot of good things. I was somewhat skeptical. Uh, remember, Federal already makes a very good personal defense bullet, the HST. So I kind of expected that this bullet would be gimmicky or that it would just not live up to potential, but it does exactly what they say it does. It does what it's supposed to do. It claims to offer deep penetration and it reliably expands through heavy clothing and in bear gel. And it does both very consistently. The performance in the bear gel and the heavy clothing was virtually identical to the point that normally when I run these tests, Afterwards, I can tell the difference between the bullets just based on the amount of expansion between the two. I can take a set of the bullets from the bear gel and a set of the bullets from the heavy clothing, put them next to each other and say, aha, this one was the bear gel. In this case, I could not do that and I had to actually scratch a mark in the bottom of the bullets from each test so that I could keep them straight when I went to measure them later on. That is extremely consistent and that's well, it's something that we don't see very often. And yes, yes, they did exceed that FBI recommended max by a bit. But that's also exactly what this is supposed to do. It's supposed to be right up there against the edge of the FBI max recommended penetration depth of 18 inches. Remember that penetration is the most important part of defense. Reaching vital organs matters more than anything else. So for many people, this is a plus for just for regular personal defense, but then you add in things like trail defense where you may have to defend yourself against human beings or against large critters whose vitals may be located deeper in their bodies from the perspective that you're shooting from. And that depth of penetration starts to matter a lot more. And I know I'm gushing, but we often don't see this sort of really, really, really good performance. And we often don't see a new product that lives up to be exactly what it's supposed to be. I am suitably impressed. But, skeptic that I am, I want to see how it does against a short barrel. If we add a short barrel and bare gel and heavy clothing, maybe we can trip it up. So stay tuned next week for another exciting episode, <laughs> and let's see how it does. If you have any questions, if you disagree with some of my conclusions, if you just want to tell me peace to all worlds, leave a comment below. As always, thanks for watching. Please like and share and subscribe. It helps YouTube understand the kind of videos that you like to see. And with the way YouTube has been treating gun videos lately, it's even more important for you to tell them and show them how many eyes and how much engagement that they can get on gun-related videos. If you have the time, head on over to our sponsor's website, Ventura Munitions. Take a look at what they have in stock. Head back over here and tell us what you'd like to see us test next. As always, have a great day.